Stop boosting me into the wall. Great. Good fucking job. I hate that so much. So, this is why we have some more rig and roll, as you can tell, because I'm complaining about being boosted into a wall. The only game that happens in is rig and roll, so... It's obvious, isn't it? Today, we are going to... Go yell at somebody for... Oh, it's my mistake, supposedly, even though I didn't... I haven't been doing any goddamn deliveries, so it wasn't me. It was one of my employees, so it's their fault, so they should take the responsibility. Because the way it worked when I was doing a driving for that other guy is if the contract didn't go through, it was my responsibility, so it, it makes sense to say if this went bad, it was obviously one of my employees because I haven't done any missions in a while, and therefore they should have to pay because I would have to pay if it was if I was an employee. You see where I'm going? I'm kind of just cobbling together thoughts as I go here, but I understand where I'm going. Hopefully you kind of followed that. Let me say it again, just try to say it simpler. When I was driving for another company, it was my responsibility if there was a problem with the delivery. So, I'm 90% sure it was one of my drivers, what am I hitting, that would have done this delivery because I haven't done a delivery in a long time. Therefore, it should not be my responsibility because it's the driver's responsibility. I simplified that and made it a lot easier to say. Don't know how I was saying it so com complex before and shit, but now it's simple. So go ahead and yeah, we're wrecking this thing up. I don't, I can't drive it ever. It seems like I, I just keep getting worse and worse at this game. The longer I play, the more I crash. Boost. Slow down. Boost. Boost. I've got very good news for you, Mr. Armstrong. We've decided to forget about your debts. Somehow, I'm not exactly relieved, Mr. Cunning. It looks like I'm being used, and I don't like it one bit. Either you talk to me straight, or you can take your money and get the hell out of here. Keep your shirt on, Nick. If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Please, have a seat. Explain who it is you are, and why there are people trying to kill me for your cargo. I work for the government. No way. We've been trying to get a handle on a certain criminal group engaged in the production and distribution of a powerful new synthetic hallucinogen. They've been using a transport service as their cover. The components of the drug are harmless and used in both production sector and in everyday life, so tracking down the criminals and their laboratory has proved to be quite difficult. Knowing Matthew's criminal ties, we put together a fake order to deliver a large batch of the more costly chemicals through Topokanaki's company. The plan was to lure the criminal group into stealing the cargo and then follow Matthew into their base, but something went wrong along the way. Matthew probably got himself killed. The delivery passed on to you, and you managed to lose both us and the criminals. Wow, now I see why I'm being chased by half the state. But someone did steal the cargo after all. That was the work of an unknown third party. Some lone wolf just faked the documents and snatched the trailer right from under everyone's noses. <laughs> oh, okay. So you lost your chance to find the criminal's hideout, but me and my friends took most of the damage. And now these mobsters will probably just kill me. Now, now, you're not in a mafia movie, Nick. They won't risk exposing themselves like that. Although, to be on the safe side, we would recommend you leave the state, at least for now. For how long? Until we find this gang and put them behind bars, I would say. What about my friends? You know what? I think I better stay. It's your call, but we can't guarantee your safety. Well, it's not like you guaranteed it before. Just do your job. Whoa, I'm not even hitting anything and I'm moving. You know, I like the strategy of sleep and then see what happens. Also, get truck repairs is very essential to this strategy as well. Because truck is falling apart a little bit. See that? It's not good. So we'll keep on with that strategy to get that story moving.
but the story is really opening up now, so that's nice. Like, for the first 30 videos, it was... I was all up north fucking around up there. Was... Oh, God! Oh! Oh, that could have been terrible, but I could crash through those things, thankfully. I was I would have just hit them at like 80 miles per hour, and if they were solid, that... I would have been into the truck, possibly, because I know if you hit fast enough, it just blows up. I apply all. Cancel to get out of there. Oh, I should have bought another truck while I was there. Oh, well. Maybe next time. Go ahead and take a man nap that lasts 23 hours and 59 minutes. Because it's a week take a nap. Well, unfortunately, the game crashed at the end of the last video, so we're back to the very start of the last video. Or, well, not the last video, excuse me. I'm going to continue this from the middle of the video, actually, now that I think about it. It was only like six minutes, five minutes in or something like that. So, scratch what I just said. Uh, the game crashed, and we're going to just redo what we just did, though. And I'm not going to separate that into two videos, because that'd be too short. Yep, that was a great start. Now, woo, 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 we the police. You hit somebody. Here's a $5,000 fine. No, I'm good. No, really, I'm, I'm good. I don't need that. I can I can just reload, guys. You know, that's that works, too. That's a weird sound the game's making. It does take a long time to load as always. I really should time this sometime. I'm sure it's at least 30 seconds, no lie. That's a full load. I don't think it really makes a difference between a quick load and a quick or a regular load, but I don't know. Okay, so boost in, get to here, save, and then we move on. Just so I have a quick load. So that way if I end up hitting it without thinking, it works out. I didn't wait long enough to boost. Boost! Ah, now I'm going too fast. Oh well. Point is, we're going fast, so doesn't matter. Worked out in the end. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, so we'll do exactly what we did last time. And probably we'll see, you know. Do We'll add a couple more quick saves and probably end up about the same spot that we ended last time, but. or er, already. I'm not good with my phrasing, am I? But we'll end up at the same spot you've already seen, probably, or so. But this time with saves frequent. So if the game crashes, it's not a problem. Ah, when am I going to get back on the road? I'm just in the grass still. Alright, this is the last chance, so I better take it. That was alright. It was stupidly risky and chaotic, but it was alright. Ah, shit, I needed to exit there. Woo, this is a... It's an off ramp, right? Sure it is. It's not an on ramp. What are you talking about? Alright. Made that pretty legally, actually, which is a surprise even to myself. So we gotta do this cutscene again. There's no real way to ki skip cutscenes in this game, sadly. So just fly into there, tap and enter. Got very good news for you, Mr. Armstrong. We've decided to forget about your debts. So let's compare the uh, text to what they say. Somehow I'm not exactly relieved, Mr. Cunning. It looks like I'm being used, and I don't like it one bit. Either you talk to me straight, or you can take your money and get the hell out of here. Perfect. The animation's off. Shirt on, Nick. 
If you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Please. Have a Perfect seat. subtitle. Explain who it is you are and why there are people trying to kill me for your cargo. I work for the government. No way. We've been trying to get a handle on a certain criminal group engaged in the production and distribution of a powerful new synthetic hallucinogen. They've been using a transport service as their cover. The components of the drug are harmless and used in both production sector and in everyday life, so tracking down the criminals and their laboratory has proved to be quite difficult. So far, these subtitles Knowing are perfect. criminal ties, we put together a fake order to deliver a large batch of the more costly chemicals through Topokanaki's company. The plan was to lure the criminal group into stealing the cargo and then follow Matthew into their base, but something One went wrong right there. along the way. Matthew probably got himself killed. The delivery passed on to you, and you managed to lose both us and the criminals. His hand's still moving. Like, oh, what are you doing, hand? Wow, now I see why I'm being chased by half the state. But someone did steal the cargo after all. That was the work of an unknown third party. Some lone wolf just faked the documents and snatched the trailer right from under. Couple of things wrong numbers. there. <laughs> oh, okay. So you lost your chance to find the criminal's hideout, but me and my friends took most of the damage. And now these mobsters will probably just kill me. Now, now, you're not in a mafia movie, Nick. They won't risk exposing themselves like that. Although, to be on the safe side, we would recommend you leave the state, at least for now. For how long? I know this next thing this Nick says is wrong. Behind bars, I would say. What about my friends? You know what? I think I better stay. Oh, my bad. Never mind. It's your call, but we can't guarantee your safety. That's off. He didn't say here. Like he guaranteed it before. Just do your job. That was slightly off. And my truck's moving again. That's kind of unusual. Sheesh, I could have hit a tree. Right, so like I said, we're going to just get to about how we were and then end it. Add a quick save for good measure. And there we go. Boost it up. Look at that panel wiggle, panel wiggle, panel wiggle. So, same order as before, repairs on sleep for 23 hours, 59 minutes, and my man naps. And now that I know I can fly through those barrels, I could have some fun. Yeah! Oh shit. <laughs> oh man, I almost missed into- okay, it crashed again. Great. The hell? Alright, so... So, 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 the game crashed again. I'm gonna just run this either, like I said, until I get to where I was before, or if the game crashes again now, because... Yeah, something's up with the game all of a sudden. It's, you know, it seems to be getting more and more unstable the more I play it. So last time it crashed going into the garage, and the other time it crashed exiting the hotel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save pretty much before I enter ex or well I can't enter before I exit somebody, but always before I enter someplace in hopes that does it. And I'm not going to hit the barrels just in case that somehow mess something up, although I highly doubt it. Alright, it looked fine. Man, this truck is... Let's get this thing fixed up. Alright. Again, I forgot to pay for the new driver, but oh well. Shit happens. So we go and save again. Probably saved at a very poor spot. Uh, yeah. Because I would load like that and I'd have to... But it doesn't matter. So into the hotel and we'll take our man nap. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't mean to... Well, that's not what I meant to do at all. Try this again. I accidentally hit escape too many times and it just booted me out. I was like, oops. Alright. Hello, Nick. This is Dakota. Frank, right? Glad to hear you at last. 
We need to talk in private. Can you visit me in my office? It's in Oxnard. Not a problem. Great. I'll be waiting. Alright, since that was a short video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load into the last save I had, or that quick save for the next game, just in case anybody might have not watched it all the way through. So that way they could still see that, just in case, because I said I'd just be repeating stuff. So, uh, we'll do that next time. So until then, this is my BR. I'll see you.